up everyone? I'm Courtney and in today's video we'll be making some Jamaican style steamed fish with okra. It's another one of my favorite dishes to make. I promise it is so good and so simple. So if you want to see more content like this, please be sure to subscribe to the channel and like this video if you enjoy it. Without further ado, let's get started. So I'm starting with my pan on a medium heat and I'm melting my butter. After the butter is melted, I'll go ahead and add my garlic cloves and pimento berries, a very key seasoning when it comes to many Jamaican dishes. Once those are in, I'll just continue stirring until everything is fragrant. Next, I'm adding my onion, okra, and scallion, which I'm just going to let cook until tender. Next, I'm adding my tomatoes as well as my sweet peppers, and again, I'm just going to let them cook slowly until they are tender, and this is all about just building our flavors as we go. So I don't like to rush, I really do prefer just to take my time and let the veggies cook bit by bit. So I went ahead and added some more butter to the pan and here I'm adding some black pepper as well as some dried thyme. You can definitely use fresh thyme if you have it on hand. And last but not least, at this point I'll be adding my pumpkin and I just add this last because it cooks the quickest. So I'll just continue stirring and just allow everything to simmer. Once all of the vegetables are tender, I go ahead and add some hot water, which I've boiled in my kettle. You can also use room temperature water, but I wouldn't suggest using cold water because you don't want the temperature to drop too quickly. So a lot of the times I can't tell how hot the peppers are at my house. So to be safe, I'm just using a toothpick to poke some holes into it before I add it to the pan. And this just saves the sauce from being too hot I'm adding a little bit of ketchup just for some color as well as some sweetness. And I don't add my salt until the end just because when we clean and prepare the fish, we typically add salt and pepper to them and I don't want to overdo it with the salt. So now I've added my red snapper to the pan as well as my hot pepper and I'm just going to cover everything and let it simmer for a couple of minutes. Once the fish has simmered in the sauce for a couple of minutes, I'm going to remove the cover and spoon some more sauce over the fish so that when it's time to eat, the flavors have run through. Next, I'm adding some lime juice, which again is my favorite part. And at this point, my fish is fully cooked. I'm just allowing it to simmer a little bit longer before I taste it for salt and add some. That is all everyone. I eat my steamed fish on its own with some vegetables, but you are more than welcome to serve it with rice or whatever suits your taste. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.